What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of RBT Resistance Band Training. I'm James Grage and I'm out here in beautiful Hollywood Beach. I've got palm trees, blue skies, ocean and sand. So why be stuck in the gym when I can come out here? So today I'm going to be showing you a couple awesome exercises that you can do for biceps and all you need a set of resistance bands and some place to anchor them. So I've got a uh, pull-up bar here, so you could use this, or if you're at home, you're not at the beach, maybe you're at a park and you still have a pull-up bar, or like I said, if you're at home, you can use a door anchor. So Undersun Fitness makes a nice little nylon door anchor that you can lock into the door. And all the exercises that we're gonna do here out on the beach, you can do right at home or even in your backyard. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into our very first exercise. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna anchor this band right about chest height. So loop the band around and through itself, just like that, it's the easiest way to anchor it. And we're going to mimic a preacher curl. Now when you're in the gym, you see people doing either a bar preacher curl or a dumbbell preacher curl. But the basics of a preacher curl is getting our arms out in front of us. Now, a lot of people do the exercise, we're told to do it, but a lot of people don't know why you're doing it. The reason you wanna do a preacher curl or get your arms more specifically, your elbows in front of you, is it's putting the long head of the biceps in a more relaxed position. So you've got two heads of the biceps, that's why we call it biceps, plural. So you've got the long head on the outside and the short head on the inside. So with this exercise or any kind of preacher curl type movement, we're targeting the short head. And the reason is, is we're putting the long head in a relaxed position by putting it out in front of us. So if we want to target the long head, the opposite, we're going to put our arm behind us and create more tension on the long head of the biceps. So we want to do the opposite. We want to put it in a shortened position or a biomechanically weak position. And therefore it's making the inside shorter head work harder. So we're targeting the inside by doing this. So since we're out in the beach and we don't have a preacher bench, we don't need one. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that we can do some of these exercises. Like I said, we wanna make sure that our arms are out in front of us. So all we have to do is actually face our anchor point. Gonna grab both sides of the band just like this. Now I've got a couple ways to create more resistance. Either I can grab the band closer to my anchor point, or I can just step further away. Remember that bands have linear variable resistance, meaning that the more we stretch them, the harder they get. So depending on how much tension you have, you may need to adjust your position throughout your set. So if you get to five and you think, hey, this is too easy, all you have to do is step back a little bit more and you're gonna create more tension. So now like all my exercises, I like to start off with 20 reps. Now this is not a warm up set, although it does serve to the purpose of warming up, but this is an actual working set, meaning that you want to work hard and not just, you know, go about this nice and light and easy. So 10 reps should be hard. By the time you get to 15, your arms should be on fire and you're still going to squeeze out five more for 20. Step back to get tension at the beginning here. You want tension all the way through the range of motion, keeping our elbow in one fixed position, squeeze forward. Now you notice my elbow doesn't move. I'm not moving my arm up and down. That elbow is in one spot right there. And just bring your hands right towards your face. Now you notice when I'm doing these, I'm supinating my hand, meaning I'm turning that pinky up. Anytime you're doing any of your biceps exercises, whether it's a standing curl or you're doing these or your arm behind your back, you always wanna make sure you turn that pinky up and your thumb is gonna turn out. That's called supination, and that's gonna help you get a peak contraction. So you notice, as I do these, I get that slight hand turn. <clears throat> now make sure, like I always say, take advantage of all three kinds of contractions. So a good controlled concentric, make sure you get that peak contraction, so squeeze that isometric for a second, and then a nice controlled eccentric or negative. So take advantage of all three types of contractions. So what you're shooting for is a total time under tension for each rep of about three to four seconds. So one second on the concentric, maybe a half a second pause on the isometric, and a nice controlled two count 
on your negative. All right, so for this next exercise, we're gonna do the exact opposite of what we did. We're now gonna target the long head of the bicep. So to target the short head, we put our arms out in front of us. So now we're gonna bring our arm behind us, create more tension on the long head of the biceps. We're gonna anchor it the same way, except we're gonna go a little bit lower. I wanna anchor it right about hip height. Now, normally if you were doing free weights using dumbbells, you would lay on an incline bench. So you would lay back and that would drop your arms back behind you. But we don't have a bench out here, so we can do this standing up. Now, I could grab the band through the loop like this and step forward. You wanna step forward far enough where you get tension, or I can go ahead and grab the band at different lengths to create more or less tension. Now, there's one more advantage of doing this by bringing the band across the pinky side when I turn my hand up, when I supinate like I was talking about, it's actually creating a little bit more tension on that side of my hand, making it a little more difficult to turn my hand. Therefore, when I squeeze and get that peak contraction, I've got maximum resistance. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So grab the band, like I said, going across the pinky side of your hand, just like that. We're gonna step forward enough to where our arm is straight back behind us and we have tension back here. Again, you want tension all the way through the range of motion. Bring your right foot back. So the same foot that you're grabbing the band with, same foot, same hand. You wanna really brace yourself. You gotta have a good, strong base, strong core here. That's one of the things about resistance band training. Really helps you develop that core strength, which is functional strength. It's gonna look just like this. Keeping the elbow in one position. Curl it forward, turn that pinky up. Now, one thing that you wanna make sure that you're doing is you don't move your elbow. So just like we were doing with our arm in front of us, we kept the elbow in one spot. Make sure you're doing the same thing with this movement. So here's the wrong way to do it. As you curl up, that you would bring your arm forward. We don't want our elbow next to our hip here. We wanna keep it back here. So it's gonna look just like this. <sighs> And if you have to, go ahead and look back. Make sure that, that elbow is staying put. <clears throat> so I recommend that you actually use a lighter band for this first set, especially if we're gonna do 20 reps. We're gonna follow the same rep structure that we did before on our other exercise, so 20, 10, 10, 15. So I recommend going down to at least a medium-sized band, getting out 20 good reps, making sure you're getting that peak contraction using really good form before going up in resistance. We know how to do that. We got a lot of different ways to create different resistance. And you're gonna do 10 reps for set number two, 10 reps for set number three, before going back to our original resistance for our fourth and final set of 15. So that's it for that exercise. Now I'm gonna show you one more. First exercise, we targeted the short head of the biceps. Our second exercise, we targeted the long head of the biceps. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna target the brachialis, which is a muscle that lies underneath the biceps. So the bigger that is, the more it's gonna push your biceps up. Now, if you've ever done reverse curls, that's exactly what you're targeting is your brachialis. So that's what we're gonna do here. This is gonna be an unanchored exercise. So we don't have to anchor it on to a door or a pole or, or a pull-up bar. We're gonna anchor this right under our feet. Now, your brachialis is not as strong as your biceps. So this is why if you're doing any kind of reverse curls, whether you're using free weights, a bar or dumbbells, you're always gonna have to go lighter. So this might be a little bit too heavy. We'll see, I might have to drop down in resistance to get good form here. Wanna anchor this under our feet. Now, like I've talked about, the more you shorten the band, the more resistance you have. So another way that I can create more resistance is the width of my stance. You see, if with a narrow stance, I've got a lot of length here. If I widen my stance, it shortens the band, so I'm creating more tension. So I can make little adjustments on the fly just with my foot position if I need more or less resistance. We are going to have our palm facing down. So we're just gonna grip the band just like that. Stand straight up, keep your elbows in a fixed position, right by your sides, and curl right up towards your chin. Control it on the way down. Squeeze up, get that good peak contraction, and back down. Now remember, to build muscle, it's not just about how much weight you use, 
and how many reps, it's also about time under tension. So that's why rep speed is so important and why a lot of people cheat themselves when they don't get a good squeeze or that isometric and they don't control the eccentric or the negative. So they're just rush, rushing their concentric and letting the band go down or the freeway go down. So that right there isn't even two seconds. So you multiply those two seconds by 10 reps, that's maybe 20 seconds of time under tension. You need at least 30 seconds of time under tension per set to build muscle. So control your rep speed. I think a lot of people think that good form is about injury prevention, but it's not. It's about building muscle. So 20 reps, 10, 10, and then 15. So that's exercise number three. I'm gonna show you one more to complete this biceps workout. Fourth and final exercise. This one is a good old fashioned standing biceps curl. Now, there's a couple ways that we can do this. If we wanna do this unanchored, meaning we don't wanna attach it here, we can just step on it. Or if you do have the option, I'm gonna show you a variation here. And it's one that I do like because of the angle of the pull. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna anchor this all the way down at the ground here, nice and low. Now by anchoring it, I'm also shortening the length of it. You can see that I've taken up a lot of the length of the band just wrapping it around the pole. So this is gonna be a lot harder than it would be if I was standing on the band. To build muscle, you wanna make sure that you get peak contractions, meaning you get the most resistance at the very top. Now, when we're training with dumbbells or barbells, we actually have the least amount of resistance at the top because think about it, with a bar dumbbell, we're resisting gravity. That's where we're getting our tension from. So we've got tension all the way through the range of motion, but once we come over the top here like this, we're actually able to rest it right at the very top. So we don't have maximum tension where we want it in that peak contraction. So with bands, especially when we create an angle of pull like this, we're getting peak contraction with variable resistance meaning the more we stretch the band, the harder it gets. So we're getting the most resistance at the very peak of that contraction. So here's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna brace ourselves here. You wanna put one foot forward and you're gonna lean back slightly because as you start to curl, it's gonna to wanna to pull you forward. So you really have to stabilize yourself. You have to contract your abs isometrically to stabilize yourself. Keep those elbows in one spot. Ah, turn those hands. Get that good isometric squeeze. Control the negative. Ah. Now, this band was good for demonstrating it, but to follow our 20, 10, 10, 15 rep structure, this is too much resistance, so I would have to drop down in resistance in order to get 20 good reps. Never let your ego dictate the amount of resistance you're using, whether it's bands or free weights. Lifting heavy by itself isn't gonna build muscle. Making sure you're using good form, good time under tension, good peak contractions, that's what's gonna build muscle. Now the variation of this, if I weren't going to anchor it, I would just anchor it under my feet, step nice and wide, and it would look just like this. Now, of course, there's all sorts of different variations. You can do single arms. If I were to step on this, we could do the little trick that I showed you before, and I can bring the band across the pinky side, and that way, as I curl up, uh, and get that supination, uh, you can see, uh, getting good resistance all the way through the range of motion, which is one of the things that I love about resistance bands. So there's four exercises for you to really hammer those biceps. Like I said, this is something you can do anywhere. If you have a set of resistance bands, you don't need a pull-up bar. You can do these at home if you use a door anchor, but when the weather's great like this, why not get outside, enjoy the weather. You can still get an awesome workout. You can still get the same kind of intensity and muscle building benefits with resistance bands as you can in the gym with free weights or machines. So that's it for now. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm James Grage, this is RBT, Resistance Band Training. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications because there'll be more great videos just like this one and you don't wanna miss any. So I'll see you guys next time.